you don't have any money at all if you don't have your own capital because you have to find premises and uh, also the bank um, do not necessarily like lending money to um, <laughs> well you have to say they're not like lending money to Nigerians um, black people in general find it very difficult to um, raise capital to start off businesses um, the uh, ops I suppose is um, for example a business like this a video uh, shop or anything else that involves um, other um, uh, Nigerians it's the ops is that you have a ready-made market there and they're actually um, eager to help I find other Nigerians are very very supportive they come round, introduce other people, and um, you know uh, help to uh, promote the business. That is the ups, but the downs is us raising the capital. If you do not have the capital, as I said, it's very very hard. When it comes to finance, even if you have a good business proposal, well, it's come down to finance. If you don't have anybody to finance your business, your good proposal, so you you finish. So, but going to the white man's bank, instead of asking all this question, and you know the reputation of Nigeria in this country, they think all Nigeria are thieves. As a black business in London, the basic up and down is finance, having appropriate financial support and the encouragement and backing has always been a problem. And then being a black woman, that adds the double trouble because you haven't got the assets and um, to give as collateral to banks to get your loan so backing has been the basic problem to get the business and lift it up from the ground that boost that it needs uh, of course is uh, because of the recession of course is um, things are things have gotten difficult recently but uh, we're surviving i mean things are difficult for for the british people as well as us but we're surviving Nigerian UK could be divided into subheadings. The first one is immigration, then employment, marital status, accommodation, and crime. <laughs> The idea of the organization is to serve as a forum for Nigerian Muslims to inculcate religious teaching in terms of Islamic tenets and all the rest in our people here at that time. But I, I must imagine that as time went by, it became a more social grouping, which when we came to this country, we found and we thought it's an association to be associated with. People of this land doesn't, uh, as, I can, as I can say, they don't want to join us worshipping together. I don't say, I, I don't know the reason why they, that comes to the a plat platform of a Christianity. You never bother to ask them. We have been going even from how one uh, house to house, and we have been doing house to house evangelism in order to see them coming to us. Whenever we see one or two of them coming, we just give them a warm welcome and uh, entertain them very well. As usual, you know, as their own culture is uh, demanded here, we welcome them with a, a cup of tea at times, biscuits, in order to just let them, you know, feel at home and uh, to just uh, let them know that we are one in the Lord. But at the end of the day, you will see uh, them no more. One question is related to the last but one. When you said before you marry another one, you have to be just. 
But what I want to ask, assuming that you can be justice between the two, but do you have to get the consent of the first wife first before you go ahead? Or you just go ahead and you do the Uh, for instance, in North London area, we have um, interaction with other denominations you know, within East Linton, where we are established and we do meetings quite often. You know, the problem is um, they see most of our, our tenants as being African. You know, like um, not wearing shoes, they believe. Nigeria or Africa is a hot country and by not wearing shoe is part of the culture of the people. So it's very difficult when you come into a white man's land where you have um, winter period, snow and things, they feel it won't be proper health-wise for them to take off their shoes. And most of their food in this country, you all know that, uh, is either pork or ham and um, uh, one of our tenants in the church is uh, you don't eat anything made of pork or any product uh, byproduct therefrom. You know these are some of the hindrances. Well, my church, uh, we have a large congregation, and as such, we have to employ some solicitors, some uh, specialists who could can give counseling to our people, because people don't know their rights, and hence they run into trouble. They don't know what they could claim or what they should not claim. But if it is something on immigration, we refer them to our solicitors, who are kind enough to come at least once a week to give counseling to our people in the church. And I too, I run a counseling clinic on Monday and Wednesdays and Fridays every week. On the youth activities, yeah. we encourage the children to mix together, right? Apart from inculcating Islamic teaching in them, we try to teach them our own culture as well. But that notwithstanding, we take them out on social outing. On the women activities, apart from the Asala to go, which is some uh, women chanting uh, some prayers together, they are uh, attending some Islamic classes as well to improve their knowledge of Islam. It's not mainly for them. So I'm from the British Commonwealth, because I have Nigerians and Caribbeans. So I have from French students coming from Gambia, from Sierra Leone. Not only from Nigeria, it was started for students from the British Commonwealth who are rejected and not accepted and welcomed into the British churches. All the British churches, not just one, even the Roman Catholic Church. Okay. So the, the composition of the membership of the church is from different denominations, and we have some Muslims as well. Uh, the followers of Christ, they, they are all over the places, whether they are praying or preaching or uh, extending the gospel of the kingdom of God to all nations, they live together, they do things in common. That um, unity and oneness in the Lord Jesus should not end within the four corners of this church. You have to visit homes, you have to make sure everybody is happy in their homes, where they have problems you have to step in. When they are distressed you have to, you know, come in in person. You must be seen in person as doing the work, not only prayer. I know prayer will do everything, but people want to see you. They want to come closer to you. They want to share their problems with you. We are taking steps to redress problems, not, not um, problems of members alone, but problems of Nigerians in this country. Like what problems? Problems of housing, problems of employment, problem of, problem of child care, uh, marital problems, any problem whatsoever, as I said in my initial speech, we are taking steps to solve this problem. And the only way we thought we could go about this is to create certain projects around those 
Uh, Ilias of Pavlovich.